hello guys welcome back to my channel how are we doing i hope we're all doing good welcome back to another video if it's your first time on this channel you are quite welcome and if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for always stopping by thank you for believing in me thank you for you know just coming around always okay so in today's video i'll be talking about certain places you need to visit if you happen to see yourself in Ghana, if you happen to find yourself in Ghana, either you went for the purpose of schooling, either you went for the purpose of, you know, maybe visit or relocation or whatever, you should see these places. You should actually visit these places. Without wasting much time, let's go right into the video. My first on the list is, <laughs> why am I so excited? The first on the list is the castle see that car these castles make the history of ghana you know from there you get to know a lot about ghana you might have watched movies about the slave trade how it happened in ghana and you know how their own was like or you just know about nigeria but if you really want to know about want to know the the creation and the origination of ghana you need to visit the castles we have the cape coast castle and there's another one called the osu castle but the one i really know about is the cape coast castle I may be attaching, oh, I should attach the pictures on the screen and then you have your way around these places. Yeah, so in these places, you hardly, you can, for as cheap as, for as low as, Maybe, I don't know how the currency is right now, but you can visit that place on a budget. You need to visit these places. You need to know about Ghana. Visit these places. Get to see how our brothers were, were exported out of their country to go and serve as slaves in another country. You can imagine. Second on my list is the memorial parks. Their parks. We have the Kwame Nkrumah Memorial Park. We have the Black Star Gate. We have the Independence Square. Yes, these places are actually the beauty of ghana if you are if you if you happen to see all these places you will know that you are in ghana you actually feel it that you're in ghana you can take nice shots there you can you know you can just you know have fun over there the independent square is a nice place for youtubers most youtubers they use that place at their intro videos and for their thumbnails and all so you should visit this place you should get to know you know ask questions throw around don't just go to ghana pack your bag and go come back just like that you should build a social life in ghana okay so number three on my list is the malls in as much as you are living on a budget, you are a foreigner in a strange country, you should have a social life. I've said that and I'm quoting it again. Have a social life. Have time for, you know, leisure. Do your leisure. Go out. Have time for yourself. You know, get to see things. Go window shopping. There are so many malls in Ghana that you can visit for window shopping. Not necessarily going there to buy anything. It's only it's not only shop right, we know. There are many malls. We have the Achimota Mall. We have Accra Mall. West Hill Mall. Look at all these malls are based in Accra. Because I based in Accra, so I can say much about Accra. Uh, West Hill Mall, Achimota Mall, China Mall, um, Marina Mall. I'll add my own pictures there too. loved a cry and visit the malls okay you know be feel free ghana is a free with a free world it's a free country but don't just go there and just do things anyhow is that okay number four is the market these are for the market it's not for only ladies though but for the business inclined people those who want to who know who intend to do business in ghana if you are a nigerian you've seen the market prices in nigeria you can go to ghana around their market there are so many markets like i would say there are so many markets but i know of a few i know of Accra market i know of a uh, makola market i know of um Kaneshi market, the central market, that was very close to me. Yeah, there are many other markets, Kasua and other places. Yes, so you can visit the markets, get to know their prices, get to see how they sell. Ghanaians are warm. 
they are lovely people i don't know why i keep saying this but they're homely they're friendly even in their manner of approach okay so visit the market the last but not the least beaches these are fun places as well we have lake volta we have labadi beach we have sajuna beach there are so many beaches it was the first time going to a beach in my life and man i had i had great great fun i had opportunity to enter a fly boat so where where two rivers don't meet we have that in nigeria here yeah so yeah you can visit all these places and make sure you get the best of Ghana before you leave for your own country or in whichever way I hope you enjoyed this video if you enjoyed this video please do well to give this video a big thumbs up hit that subscribe button and don't forget to share leave me a comment you know we can recommend more places people love to read comments as well so you can recommend places that you know foreigners can visit when they are in Ghana. Alright, thank you so much and I'll see you in my next one. Bye bye.